And that'll be gathered up and now cleared by Underwood. Dylan Fitz sends it across to the near corner. Cantor looking for it. Cantor, this is seventh game in the Ontario Hockey League, and there it is in net. And we spoke of Cantor right there, and he shows you that he can put the puck in the net as well. Well, just found himself in open space, confused uh, confusion on the man coverage in front of the net, and you give up a, an opening goal right there. And uh, you know what? It's going to be Mirovich get it. And Let's have a look here. Or is Cantor going to get his stick on it? Hmm, tough to say. Well, I thought it was Mirovich. I marked down. I think down. it is Mirovich, yeah. But Cantor creating that space. That's what we mean by seeing the ice well and be able to anticipate his positioning relative to the puck and his mates. Holland blasting that. Scores! Pasquale was looking for it and he couldn't find it. A power play goal for Guelph. Well, this is a, a redirect in front. You can follow the bouncing puck. But here again is Lofquist getting the puck, hesitates, puts it to his man to his right, who gets the shot away. It finds the net, and you know that Lofquist contributed to that goal with a good heads-up pass, seeing the, uh, the mates well onto his right. But uh, good decisions with the puck. You saw him hesitate. Off the draw, and that is Underwood. We'll work it around for Shala. Can't clear the zone as it's kept in by Siska. Trying to get away from Shala. They bump in there along the wall. Puck rolls loose, and that'll be skated out by Sanderson. Sanderson, the drop pass to Skellett across. Back to Sanderson, scores! Barry Sanderson is 11th goal of the year on a nice feed from guess who? Jordan Skellett. All that coming still under two minutes, one, 51, gone in the second period. And just as uh, Beck and Siska combined for a good opportunity at the left of your screen, back come Sanderson and Skellett to restore that one goal lead to the spirit. And we talked about odd man rushes and training opportunities off those uh, greater number of shots in the third to uh, tie it first, then take the victory out. So coincidental minors to those two gentlemen, Van Laren and Philman. Is that sent right in? O'Connor scores! A nifty feed right across to O'Connor, and he jumps into the rush and makes no mistake about it. It's 3-1 Saginaw. Well, no sooner said that Guelph uh, had the big margin of play in the shot clock, but boy, right back, a turnover four on four hockey results in the third. And a, at center ice, Philman and Van Laren as they get out of the box on the, their uh, minors are going toe to toe here. And Van Laren is giving the business and he finishes off Philman in a big way, a TKO for Mr. Van Laren. Well, that will bring about the end of this second period and Murovic and Taylor Beck gonna have a go as Beck gives Murovic a punch right in the face. Well, Beck Among paper. other people, now Hill going at it near the, with Michael Latta, I believe that is. Yes, Latta and Hill going toe to toe. Hill getting a couple licks in on Latta who tries to come back. And Will it gets his helmet coming off now. Michael Latta, a tough customer. Hill trying to stand toe to toe with him and now that'll do it for that scrum. And Murovich now over on the opposite side against Taylor. He finds Peter Holland coming back, creeping in. Finds Siska, bit of a flutter ball shot through and that is cleared down the ice right on foot by the Spirit. And the spear will clear to the line, but not out. That's Siska. Left it there for Peter Holland. Creeping in, top of the circle, scored! Peter Holland hits the twin and a power play goal. 3 2, just like that.
while like his line mate who's in the penalty box for a fighting penalty, Michael Latta, it's Peter Holland scoring on the power play, as did Latta in the first, to cut the margin back to one goal. And you saw that ice open up, Holland taking advantage of the open space, stepping into the void and getting a great... Well, we said that uh, Holland is starting to step up his uh, game in the second half, as we said in our intro, and our player profile in him and uh, Lofquist, and they've been uh, certainly involved. Loft with an assist. Right in front, Sandlock scores! 3-3. Clutch goal by the rookie right there. So the veterans and the rookies chip in in this early comeback bid by the Storm, trailing by a pair. Coming into the third frame, they tie it with 136 only passed in this third period. Well, Carter Sandlock is sixth goal, and he might not have got any bigger ones than that. Center now in over the Saginaw line. Walsh out to Kamara, steering that through, but it's gobbled up by Connor Tresham. An outlet for him. Cody McNaughton now. Tresham getting it back out to McNaughton. Right in front. Scores! Cody McNaughton on a nice feed from Connor Tresham. It's 4 3 Guelph. about the tables turning in three and a half minutes. The Guelph Storm have roared back. Well, let's see. Youngsters led by Cody McNaughton as he buried a beauty right there. Right down Broadway he came, wristed a great shot up over the gloved hand of Ed Pasquale. And it's now 4-3, the first time the Storm have led in this hockey game. Boy, three goals in the first 3-21. Thank you. 